What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, we got another video for today. It is the second one, and guys, I hope you've been enjoying the vids. And today, we got another video, and it is on the best players to take at level 75 and 100. And guys, I've done this before, but the video did not do well, so I'm gonna repost it. And I just want to go over. I also have honestly, bro. Level 75 to 100, I chose the wrong players, guys, besides Ichiro and Kemp, but I chose the wrong players. I'm going to re-go over these players and show you what <coughs> the best players are to take, <coughs> okay? So, let's start off. So, as you go up in the XP reward pack, and also, guys, I'm sorry, drop 10k in the comments, as per usual, drop a like, sub if you are new, let's get this vid to 60 likes, we'll give away 10k to a random guy, just drop the comment 10k or whatever you want, and you'll qualify for a chance of winning 10k, it's that simple guys, drop the sub if you are new, we're posting every day baby, we're about to hit 700 subs, we're gonna close in on it, I think today, so let's get into it, uh, we got, so, what I did, okay, so when I was bronze 75, I chose Matt Kemp, and honestly, I had absolutely no problems with this Matt Kemp, and we're gonna go over right now, so, in my opinion, in this whole thing, I'm going to tell you my top three and my top three why. Okay, Matt Kemp is one of my favorite ones, hands down. I don't care if you want, like, I don't care if you don't think he's good. But, bro, I'm going to move the face cam for a sec. And we're going to go over these stats, all right? So, this we go. All right, so Matt Kemp. The stats are just all around amazing, okay? I picked this card. He has played phenomenal for me. He's batting 340 for me. He's playing absolutely amazing. His fielding is stellar. The only thing that I could say he lacks in is bunting and vision. And honestly, bro, I think his PCI is glitch. His PCI looks pretty big for me, and he's actually been doing amazing. He has speed fielding. This is, what I, this is my top three in this one. And another one, bro... Ichiro is batting 500 for me over like 100 at bats. I'm not even kidding. Bro, Ichiro is the cheap hit god. He's so cheeky. You could press any button, square, X, or circle. And this guy will literally hit a tap base hit over to third baseman, shortstop, whatever, bro. He's a hitting machine. His PCI is huge because of the vision. He's not going to hit home runs, but bro, if he hits it in the gap, it's an auto triple. I already have like five triples with him. He's actually amazing, bro. I highly recommend his card. Like, this card has changed my team. I bat him second. He's changed my team. I highly recommend him, Kemp, and last but not least, Kershaw. If you go online and you look at what people, like, okay, first of all, I verse everybody's aces online for some reason, and everybody's ace is this damn Kershaw. It is so hard to hit. He is going to be my pick at 80, silver 80, but bro. This Kershaw is straight filth. I cannot stand versing him. He is just disgustingly filthy. I I can't, bro. This guy, just look at the stats, bro. I between the curveball, I'm I'm telling you right now. If you see this guy's curveball, you literally can't see it on your screen. It drops out of nowhere and it's just disgusting. It's filthy. But yeah, I highly recommend this Kershaw. I, those are my top three: Kershaw, Ichiro, whatever. And I'm gonna show you these guys over here. This card's not terrible, but like, honestly, I'm just going to say this now. For a shortstop that's slow is kind of iffy, and bro, I have Jose Reyes, who's like, Jose Reyes is a god for me, and he's a switch hitter. I wouldn't recommend this card. I don't really like it at all. Like, yeah, the hitting's sick, but bro, you have a contact hitter that's not that fast. I wouldn't recommend it, but that's just me. Ralph Kiner. Okay, to be honest, I'm going to call this guy a pitch hitter because his fielding is lousy, his arm strength's lousy, his speed is lousy. If you have if you're like diamond level or gold level and you need a big boy bat, this is definitely the man. Like I wish you could run DH in Diamond Dynasty, but yeah, this card's not bad. He's a, just a pitch hitter in my opinion. JC Giabi, another guy, bro. They kind of botch this card. He's slow as hell. His fielding's trash. His bunt, he can't bunt. Uh, like, bro, he's trash against left. He, he can't hit power against lefties. I would just say pitch hitter versus righties, to be honest. Like, he really can't do anything else. That's all I'm going to say. Like, not to hate, but I see as a pitch hitter. And honestly, bro, I like this card. And I'm going to tell you why. First of all, all the catches in his game, in my opinion, are trash. 
I'm gonna be honest, I versed a 99 Pudge, and he has not done anything against me. He's literally probably hitting 100 against my team. This Johnny Bench card is something interesting. I will definitely be taking him after Kershaw. Like, yo, his contacts there, his powers there, visions there. He's all around beast. His fielding's just gorgeous. He's not the slowest catcher in the game. Like, I, my, I have a Mike Piazza McCann. They have 35 speed. This card's pretty decent. I would recommend it. We got Nolan Ryan, bro. If you don't want to take Kershaw and you're feeling a righty, go ahead and take Nolan Ryan. This guy's a complete beast. Honestly, I like lefties more in this game. I have, a tr I have trouble pitching with righties more than lefties. I feel like lefties are just dominant. And you know why I say lefties are dominant? Because I've realized that lefties versus lefty batters, lefty batters can't hit lefties. I, I don't know if it's a glitch or something, but... Dude, righty batters can hit righties and lefties. Lefty batters have... I have a lot of trouble hitting lefties against lefties. But I don't know. I, it could just be me, but for some reason, lefties really, really struggle in this game. And I feel like Kershaw will be the better option over Ryan. But if you have Kershaw and you want another 99, go ahead and take Nolan. We got Trevor Hoffman. Bro, I was seriously thinking about taking this car over Ichiro. I might have been on crack or something, but... Bro... Honestly, I want a closer. I have Rick Gossage. I don't use him. I use Edwin Diaz over Rick Gossage. And this closer might be the move. He's a slower velocity guy. He could throw some net. Like the circle change at 73 and the curveball at 74 might absolutely destroy your opponent with strikeout pitches. In my opinion, bro, I would stay away from the fastball with this guy. And I would just straight up throw circle changes and... Uh, cutters and i'll just throw all the off speed crap and you'll might destroy you literally might check out the side with that guy but you know what we got the 99s the big boys and guys i hope you enjoyed that part and we go into the big boys over here so no i i missed it here it is so i chose joe morgan and honestly bro i thought he was the best i think he's still the best but i don't play good with him and it's because he's a lefty. I only do good with righty batters. I've learned that the hard way. I don't know why. The only lefty batter I could say I do good with is Murphy, McCann, and Yelich. Everybody else, I'm so bad with. But man, so honestly, I'm going to be completely honest. Out of all these, I verse Duke Snyder. Every single person I verse struggles with Duke Snyder miserably. His batting stance is a little weird. He's a lefty. With crazy power, great fielding, and speed. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. I would stay away from Duke. I verse so many kids with Duke. Everybody has Duke online. I verse so many kids with Duke. He plays like crap. He can't hit up and in pitches. He's just, I'm telling you, I don't care if you hate on me, bro. I've seen it. I played like five, I played like 150 ranked seasons games or 100 ranked seasons games. And I've not seen anything from Duke. Yeah, he's going to hit a home run if you put it down the middle. But I don't know. I just... I, don't, I wouldn't pick him to be honest i would my number one would be frank thomas and i verse this card i've gotten every time i verse frank thomas he's hit an extra base hit he is so filthy if this guy gets any hanging pitches it's going into the gap or it's going 500 feet over the fence and i'm not even kidding bro this guy's legit yeah the fielding's not good but i'm gonna explain to you why i don't care I have Daniel Murphy gold. I, I start Daniel Murphy gold. I finally upgraded to the diamond, bro. At first base, I have not. Murphy's probably made one error, and he is worse feeling this Frank Thomas card. At first base, he doesn't really get as many actions besides ground balls. That like He's not going to make errors, bro. He's a first baseman. It's not like he's an outfielder. I've My Murphy has not made a lot of errors. You could hate. I don't care. Most of my errors come in the outfield and shortstop second base. So, to have this bat on your team is literally my favorite. I'll be picking him at 100. But we got Joe Morgan. Let me just go over the stats. Honestly, bro, it's so annoying because this card stats, in my opinion, are still... I think it's one of my favorites to pick still because he has the contact and the power, okay? At second base, he has the vision, the clutch. He has the speed, too. So, you're talking about a guy who could do absolutely everything, but now, the Roberto Alomar just came out, so he is the best second shortstop, second baseman in the game now. So, if you have the stuffs by Alomar, I would not take Joe Morgan. I would take Frank Thomas. And we got Brooks Robinson. <sighs> so, this is what I think about this card. Literally, third baseman-wise, I would just go get Miggy for 50k instead of taking this guy out of all that grind. 
And I'm going to tell you why. So the power's at 80, the contact. So listen to this. So he's pretty much Joe Morgan. I'm not kidding. He's pretty much Joe Morgan with better fielding and worse speed. So that's the way I see this car. I will not be taking this car anytime soon. And, and we're going to go last but not least, Tony Gwynn, bro. Tony Gwynn, I've gotten destroyed online with him. But in my opinion, if you have Ichiro, don't get Tony Gwynn. Just because, I'm going to say this now, I've seen Ichiro, I've seen Tony Gwynn. Who does better against me? Ichiro does better. The problem with Tony Gwynn, and I'm going to tell you this right now. The problem I see with Tony Gwynn, his power is 70. This is why I think Ichiro is better. His, first of all, Ichiro's all contact. The problem I see with Tony Gwynn, he has a line out problem, bro. With Ichiro, I see cheeky base hits, perfect. But with Tony Gwynn, he's not going to hit that many dingers. He's going to line out a lot because the power is there. And I've noticed that a lot online. He likes lining out a lot. I know they said they, they fixed line out success. But in my opinion, I really don't think they did. I think that the line outs are literally the same. So honestly, rank these. I would go Frank Thomas, Joe Morgan, then Gwynn, then Duke. And then Brooks. I might sound crazy, but that's the way I would put it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop 10k in the comments, like the video, sub if you are new. Your boy Bugs coming out with more content every day and every day. Just drop the sub. You know what's good. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Hey, yo,